hearty. Yes, filled with flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. wait to tell y'all but first I am B your host welcome to Soul Food Sundays presented by Sweet Granny Bees I am the owner of Sweet Granny Bees this is uh, my granny B and you can check us out online we have delicious desserts we ship all over the US so if you want some get at me get at me uh, <laughs> and Soul Food Sundays is all about food family fellowship and what bum, 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 bum. and really it's about some good food, y'all. And that's what's going on today. Today, people, today. We are making chili soap. You know, fall is upon us. Uh, I'm, I'm down here in Houston, so it's still really warm here, but in other parts of the country, it's starting to cool off a little bit, which is a good thing. But we need some stuff, you know, that's really gonna stick to our bones and make us feel warm inside. And, you know, so this is the season of soups and chilies and stews and you know stuff that's thick <laughs> but tasty <laughs> so today so we're gonna have a series so we're gonna do you know a few of my favorite soups and chilies and stews and, and things like that so we're gonna do that in the next few weeks but so we're gonna start it off today we'll make it chili we'll make it chili we'll make it chili chili chili, chili. i love chili i love food but i really love chili so today, <laughs> we're going to make a chili, but we substituted some of the regular or normal ingredients that people use. We use a little bit different uh, ingredients. So we are going to be using uh, ground turkey, but we're also going to be using deer sausage. <gasps> did you say deer sausage? Yes. Yes, I did. That's what I said. Deer sausage, okay? Now, I know some of y'all hoity-toity or y'all like, I don't eat that. I don't, all I eat is chicken. Ah! 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 Okay? Now, deer sausage is delicious. You hear me? And it is going to add a tremendous flavor to our, to our chili. And I used ground turkey because I didn't have any ground beef. But I had plenty of ground turkey, so I was like, oh, I'm going to use some ground turkey. And usually... I would use turkey sausage, but I didn't have no turkey sausage, but I had some deer sausage. So I was like, ah, we gonna go ahead and throw that deer sausage on in there. And it's gonna be good. I'm telling y'all, that deer sausage is gonna add a flavor to that chili that's like none other. I'm telling you, you have to try it. And it does not taste gamey. Deer sausage is not gamey. So it just is flavorful, uh, is healthier, cause it's really lean. Cause they out in the wild. They just eating grass and berries and whatever they eat. But they in the wild. So you gotta worry about what they being fed. And you know, the meat is really lean and it's healthier. So we're gonna use the deer sausage, okay? Okay, y'all roll with me. I ain't steered you wrong yet. So y'all y'all stay with me, okay? And try it. If you try it, let me know in the comments. I wanna know what you think. Use that deer sausage. Use it, use it, use it, you. Okay. So we're going to be right back and get into these ingredients and show you what we're going to do and see you in a minute. All right, good people. So we are going to get off into these ingredients. We have some paprika. We've got some chili powder, black pepper. We've got that hot sauce, y'all. You know, I put that in everything. <laughs> got a little vegetable oil, some minced garlic. We got chili packets. We're going to use some chili packets. Diced tomatoes. I use pinto beans for my chili instead of kidney beans. That's just what I like. We got some diced white and green onion, and then we got uh, two quarts of water. So, not a whole lot of ingredients, which is what we like. And we also have our, and it's not over here, we have some ground turkey meat, and then I'm gonna use some deer sausage. I know y'all saying, 
Uh, what you mean you're going to use some deer sausage? <laughs> but it's going to make that turkey so delicious. I'm telling y'all. The first thing we are going to do is turn our heat to a medium high and put some oil in the skillet. And this is to saute our, uh, our veggies. So we're going to let that get a little bit warm. You can use regular green uh, oil or you can use butter. Whatever you desire. Use olive oil. Using vegetable oil. So it is up to you. And we are going to saute our onion and our garlic. All right, so our oil is ready. So we're going to saute our onion. handy dandy wooden spoon. I told y'all about these wooden spoons. If you haven't gotten this time, there's a link in the description. It's some wooden spoons. So we're just going to saute this for a few minutes till it's translucent and then we're going to add in our garlic. After that, add in a tablespoon of garlic. A heaping tablespoon. So you know we love garlic. that until it's fragrant and when I say fragrant it just means until you can smell it <laughs> you can't smell what it first goes in but eventually the aroma is going to come up and kind of hit you a little bit and that's how you know you saute the garlic or not so now we're going to go ahead and add in our deer sausage so my husband and my son hunt and when they catch a deer um, or if they're going boar hunting um, they process the meat. And deer sausage is delicious. I don't know how many of you have had it or not had it, but don't turn your nose up if it's deer sausage. You hear me? Because it is going to bring a tremendous, tremendous flavor to this chili. You hear me? And it's healthier than store-bought meat because it's leaner, you know, deer been in the wilderness eating grass so you got to worry about the diet. <laughs> but this is going to add some really, 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 really good flavor to this chili. Now watch what I'm telling y'all. Y'all can find some deer sausage straight out. It's really good. I'm telling, I wouldn't tell you wrong because I don't like gaming meat. I don't like meat that tastes gamey, but this is not. It's really, really good. Then we are going to add in salt. I'm going to use some ground turkey meat. I didn't have any ground beef. So we're going to use this here ground turkey, and that works just as well. You know, if you don't eat, you want, don't want the, uh, the beer sausage, then so just use the ground turkey. Use ground beef, but add some type of sausage to it. Okay? So if you use ground beef to get you a pork sausage or a chicken sausage or if you want to use a turkey, you can do a chicken sausage or turkey sausage, either way. And then what we're going to do is take our chili seasoning and we're going to add this to flavor uh, the meat. We're going to add this into the meat to flavor the meat. All right, so we are going to use just a little bit less than one cup. We got about three and a half pounds of meat. And so we're going to use just a little bit less than one cup of the, um, the chili uh, powder. Chili spices. So we're going to use that to season our meat. And that's going to make the meat really, really good. And when it's simmering, you know, all that flavor is going to go throughout go throughout your chili. So we're just going to cook this in. Make sure everything's nice and cooked through. And then we'll be back to show you the next part. Alright, so our meat is about done. And we, like I said, we use ground turkey. So this is really, really lean meat. The sausage, the deer sausage and the ground turkey. So it's not going to be a lot of fat, which is good. That's what you want. You don't want a lot of fat in your 
and your chili. So, you know, you can use really lean meat, but you can see that color from the chili uh, spices. That's what you want. You want it really well incorporated, the veggies mixed throughout. And then we're just going to transfer this, and we cooked it very thoroughly. We're going to transfer this to our pot. For our next step all right so the first thing we are going to do is get our meat into the pot and we're going to pour in the two quarts of water and we're going to stir this around all right yes 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 chili is really easy to make Basically, you just put a bunch of stuff in the pot and letting it cook a little bit. Then we're going to put in our tomatoes. we got a 28-ounce can of tomatoes. And we didn't drain it, so we're going to put all of that, that in. Trying to, yeah. And then we're going to put our beans in. Now, I did drain uh, most of the juice off the beans. So, go ahead and, and do that. And I'm using one uh, 53 ounce can. And then I'm also using a 29 ounce can. So a little bit of both. Get that in there. Situate that like so. Yes. That's going to be good. Now if you want to use kidney beans, by all means, use the kidney beans. But I like to use pinto. So that's really up to you. And we're just going to stir this around a little bit. So we want to make sure it looks well incorporated. Like there's enough ratio of the tomato and the veggies. And it's looking pretty good. So I'm happy with it. So now we are going to add a few sprinkles of our hot sauce. You know me. Got to have a little... A little bit of kick. <laughs> We're going to put in a half a tablespoon of black pepper. That's about a half right there. And then we're going to put in a little bit of paprika. And that's going to give it a little bit of kick too. About a third of a tablespoon of that. And then what we're going to do is just let it simmer. So we're going to let this simmer and then we're going to taste it. Y'all know what, how I feel about taste. You got to taste your food. So we're going to taste it because we might need to add some uh, some reserved chili, chili powder. We are going to add a little bit of uh, brown sugar to it uh, a little bit later, but we want to taste it first. So we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes and then we're going to be back to look at it and see how it's doing. It's going to simmer covered. Put our lid on and we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes and we'll be back to show you what we got then. So we've been simmering for a good while and I tasted it. What I tell you, you got to taste your food. And so it needs a little bit more seasonings and spices. So we're going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm going to add a tablespoon of this chili, uh oh, some more chili powder, it's a little bit more than a tablespoon. And then we're going to add a little, another half a tablespoon of pepper. Because we like a little kick to ours. So we're going to stir this in, let it simmer some more. And it's simmering on low, simmering on low heat. That's just so everything can, all the flavors can just blend really well together. And that sugar is not going to make it sweet. It's just going to cut out some of that, uh, that tomato. Sometimes tomato can be a little bit too tomato-y. <laughs> so that's all the sugar is going to do is just mellow it out a little bit. All right. Let this continue to simmer and we'll be back. All right, good people. We are back. We are back and look what we got. Oh, let me 
do a close up so y'all can see this. Y'all see that? Mmm, smoking. Y'all see that? Mmm, -hmm. it's hearty. Yes, filled with flavor. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I did. Let me tell you, let me tell you. So, in the video, you saw me put in, add, you saw me add a tablespoon of chili powder and a tablespoon of brown sugar. So, I let it simmer a little bit longer. Then, I tasted it. What I tell y'all, you gotta taste your food. And you're gonna season it according to your taste. And so, when I tasted it again, it, it needed a little bit more seasoning. So, I added a second tablespoon of chili powder. I added another tablespoon of the brown sugar, but I also added some seasoning salt. So I added about a teaspoon of seasoning salt, an additional teaspoon of black pepper, and just for good measure, I added a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Cause you know I love it, and I put it on everything. Y'all just say that. Y'all hear something? Y'all ain't hear nothing. But anyway, it made it delicious. <laughs> this is hearty. Let me go and get a taste. It's hot too. Mmm. 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 Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Mm, it's so flavorful. And on a cool night or a cold night, you can't be chilly. You can get you some crackers or you can put it, you can put it over hot dog if you want to. Make it some chili dolls. You can get you some uh, some chips, put it over some chips. <sighs> I like, you can eat it with some cornbread. That's a real hearty meal there. Either way. Mm. Mm. And if you don't want, mine is pretty liquidy. If you don't want as much liquid in, then cut it from two quarts of water to one and a half quarts. And that should get you to where, where you want to be on the liquid. Or you could just let it boil and simmer for a while and let some of the liquid evaporate. But this right here is the bomb.com. I'm telling y'all, make this. I'm glad y'all tuned in. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And like I said, we're going to be doing our series of just things that you eat. You want to eat it in the fall, get you ready for the winter, and stick to your bones. We're going to do, I'm going to bring back my black eyed peas. You know what? I think I'm going to do that next week. If you ain't had black eyed peas, or you ain't had black eyed peas till you had my black eyed peas. And they so easy to make, but oh, they is good. And over some rice with some cornbread, you're talking about some good eating. Okay. If you haven't liked this, subscribe, please do. Leave your comments because I love the, the engagement and, and chatting with you all. So leave your comments. Thank y'all for tuning in to another Soul Food Sundays. I will see you next week.